Hi, this is Corey from QA1. This afternoon, Charlie and I are gonna be putting a rear coilover kit on a 68 Chevelle. The necessary items are a drill, a drill a couple holes, a three quarter inch socket, a three quarter inch wrench, a half inch wrench and a half inch socket, and all the stuff that comes with, uh, with your coilover kit. To begin, we need to remove the old shock. Um, to do this, we'll support this side of the rear end that we're working on, just enough to take the tension off so we'll be able to safely remove the shock. After removing the shock, we remove the shock mount. The next step is to install the lower coilover bracket. The lower stud goes through the existing hole that the shock mount was in. Take and tighten the nut and washer up on the back side of the provided uh, welded in bolt to help us better align where we need to drill our new hole. After you get the lower bolt snugged up, it's important to set the shock bracket up perpendicular to the rear end tubes. A little tap with a rubber mallet will set you up square. Next, we're gonna begin to pre-drill our uh, hole. We just got done drilling the hole in the rear end here, half inch hole with the uh, hand drill. Now we're gonna install the bolt and make sure we get it good and tight. Just preload that plate a little bit. The next step is to do the same thing with the upper mount. These two slots will line up with the two existing bolt holes and we'll have to drill this one with a 516 to drill bit. Once you get it in place, it's important to put this face of the bracket tight against the, the mount and that makes sure that the load is spread out to the factory shock mount evenly. Next, we'll be taking a 516 drill bit and drilling the third hole. After we got the hole drilled, to put the third bolt in. This one's a little tricky to get the washer and the nut on. After both the brackets are installed, the next step is to install the coilover shock assembly. Uh, the, so the end with the bushing and the sleeve goes up, and the end with the bearing goes down. So, to get the upper bracket started, it helps to get the bushing lined up. Wiggle it front to back a little bit as you slide it up. And then, try to pay attention when the sleeve is lined up. Prior to completing your assembly of your shock, coilover shock, make sure that you remove your factory spring. After we get the upper bracket started, the next step, try to get everything lined up nice. We'll lower, raise or lower our screw jack. After we get the upper and lower bolts bolts started, uh, next step is just tighten everything up. So after the coilover assemblies, bracket kits and everything are all bolted up, the next step is put the wheels back on the car, set the thing on the ground, and set the ride heights to what, what they measured out before you started. To learn more, you can give us a call or check us out online.